Hey everyone, I just thought I would share how to use the seeds. So when I pick a uh, background or whatever I'm working on, so I have these four options based on my prompt, and then this was the one I decided on, and then I upscaled it. So once you're in that upscale mode and you see this and you're like, hmm, I like it, but maybe I want it bone color instead of this tan color, okay? So you just click up here and you click with the little emojis and you click your envelope, all right? Now it's going to give you the seed number and that's what you want. So let's kind of scroll down and you'll see that here's the seed number. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna copy the exact same prompt. So I'm gonna do slash imagine, but I'm gonna make some changes. I'm going to say a bone colored arch wall backdrop. And I think instead of pine foliage, I'm gonna say, Christmas tree pine foliage. I'm gonna go ahead and add the aspect ratio of 169. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do dash dash seed. And I'm gonna copy the seed number. That way it knows what image I'm talking about and the changes that I wanna make. And then I'm gonna hit enter. And what's gonna happen is I should get a result that is almost identical, not identical, but with a different bone colored background and hopefully different foliage. There's also other things that you can do to make changes based upon your prompts, but this is a super fun way to say, okay, I like this image, I've upscaled it, but what if we make this change? So we'll give it a second. If you wanna learn more about AI, make sure to visit the AIcreativecollective.com where I have tons of videos that show you how to use AI. There's so many things you can do from creating your own backdrops to print or using in studio. And so now these are the collections I have. I really love them. It keeps that same look and feel that I'm going for, but with my modifications. So next time you're browsing and searching around mid journey, make sure to check out how to use your seeds.